Well, look at these two bozos. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh. Nate, can't even keep it straight, man. Well, we're gonna get started gold mining today, guys. Those guys are rolling in to work, and we're gonna get started. Now, we had a couple days worth of thunderstorms, so Nate thought it was smart to put all the equipment inside, which ended up being a good idea because a neighbor had a piece of equipment get struck by lightning a couple days ago, so that ended up being a good idea. We got the excavator inside, we got the truck inside, we got the other excavator inside, and then we got one, two, three, four rock trucks, two dozers, and one excavator on wheels and a skid steer, all jam-packed in here. Okay, so we're searching for a Komatsu 1200 model. Isn't that right, Nate, or something like that? It's on Machinery w Trader. Yeah, a WA12 model. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up on the computer and show you guys it. Okay, on Machinery Trader, I'm seeing this Komatsu. It's got 40,000 hours on it, and you guys think this is a good idea to buy this thing? I mean, they're virtually indestructible, so it should be fine. Okay, let's go look at it. All right. Okay, so we're going to look at this and these guys are so confident that they're bringing two semis and the reason they're bringing two semis is because we can't fit this thing on one trailer we got to put one side on one trailer one side on the other trailer in order to buy this thing and if you guys are new to this series hopefully i explained it but this is our gold mine series and our oil drilling series we basically do everything here oh it's a race now it is a race no. oh it is a race between the semi trucks here's the place where we buy a lot of our buying equipment we buy trucks we buy wheel loaders we buy every holy toledo that thing is giant are we sure this is gonna fit on two trailers we might need a third one uh you think three i don't know we'll see for forty thousand hours though guys i mean it looks pretty clean so you're telling me this thing is forty thousand hours that's what it said on machinery oh, on top of that are we sure we need this thing this big we're, we're not at this size yet in my opinion dude if we get one more employee to run a rock truck you are not gonna be able to keep up with us nate yeah Have you found anybody yet okay then i mean here's the thing employees though employees are hard to come by Forty thousand hours there's got to be something wrong with it the only good part about this is the inside looks halfway clean and decent for forty thousand hours forty thousand human hours sitting in that seat and it looks clean yeah they must have like threw a new seat and everything in it then all right let's hear a crank up first before we buy it I mean, started lift the loader nate holy crap hold up just stay right up underneath my it. wife told Aww. you about our insurance policy didn't she Gosh well, she dang. told me she told me also get part of the mine too okay boys i talked to daryl they're asking two mil for it he says there's 40,000 hours. He said it went through the shop and there was a lot of maintenance. The whole interior was redone and then they rattle canned the whole thing. He was just straight up honest. I was like, how many rattle cans do you go mm. through? He's like, you don't want to know. So that's the shape she's in. He says otherwise it's pretty good. They had an axle in the rear fall off, but they got that replaced and it should be good to go. Well, based on that information, do we want to spend $2 million on this? I mean, you know how much these are new? How much are they new? Like five mil? Brand new? Uh, yeah, two mil would be fine then if it's brand new is five. So yeah. I guess. I think we could, I think we could offer him like one eight, see what he does. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, are we sure we want to do this? It's not even a drive shaft linked up to the front wheels. Other than that, we should be good. I'll tell him to get a PTO shaft. Good catch, Nate. The hydraulics may be cut too, but I'll talk to him on that. Okay, boys, I talked to him. He said he'll do 1.8, and he apologizes about that. He says they hired a new mechanic, Buck, from somewhere, and he screwed the job up. So, uh, of course. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. This Buck guy, man, I just. He says it's his first. it was his first day on the job when he was working on it. Sure it was. Well, I mean, go get it paid for so we can go ahead and take her home. Okay, she is paid for. We got the drive shaft in and the hydraulic lines connected to this thing. Last thing we got to do is load it up on the semis and take a 100-mile trip back home. Heck, I've never even driven this thing. I expected there to be a steering wheel. There's just joysticks to this thing. Holy crap, dude. I'll have these guys fold down the ramps, and we're going to load this thing up. Here we go. I got to look at the front view to see how we're doing this oh this should actually work pretty good there we go come on good keep it going yeah stay in the middle come on now okay right, a little bit more right there yep okay we got this thing loaded up perfect nate are you sure straps are gonna work when we have two different semi trucks though man safety is better than nothing true we're trying something hey brody fold up the ramps see if that works yeah okay yeah ramps fold let's start off at five five okay let me get that set up what we'll do we'll go increments of ten okay i'm ready when you are three two one there they go all right bump up to ten there these boys go oh this is working good actually now how are you guys gonna do turns up here we'll figure it out all right slow down to five Start turning, start turning, start turning, start turning, start turning. Turn, 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 hard, hard, hard. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh my gosh. You got to turn you like go. you've never turned before, buddy. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> 
Straight now, straight now, straight now, straight now. Okay, 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 okay. Well, that somewhat worked. These guys got it down. You want to bump up to 20? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nate, Nate, Nate. Turn right, turn right, man. Oh, gosh. Can you stay on the road, please? <laughs> Oh my I'm God. trying to stay on the road. Okay, I'm in the drone right now, and these guys got a big turn coming up. We'll see how they do. Start, start turning now. Yeah. Slow increments. Oh, that's smooth. This bridge doesn't have a weight requirement, does it? We're about to find or out. A weight limit. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Nate. Nate, you're close to the edge, man. There you go. You guys got it. You guys got it. You know, just a little lean in with it. Perfect. Those boys got her. Okay, so these boys got it delivered here. I'm going to climb up here, and we're going to get this thing unloaded off here. We'll fire her up, put her in reverse, and back this baby off of here. There we go. Just going to go over this small little bump quick. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, if you want to wreck something with that, there's a Chevy sitting in the parking lot. <laughs> okay, we're going to see how big of loader capacity this thing has. Should be able to move a lot of pay dirt with this thing. We'll see, though. Oh, yeah. 42,000 liters. So that'll fill up one truck completely and then it'll also give us um, like 80% of the, another truck that holds 50,000 so that'll be perfect okay Brody's got the cat which this is our most biggest capacity rock truck so oh it'd help if I don't miss there we go for the cat it's gonna take like two or three different loads to load this thing but for the other rock trucks it's gonna take like one and a quarter loads to load this thing perfect so Brody's full already and then this truck it'll take literally like just a tad bit to fill this truck up okay so I'm not the best at operating the wheel loader so Brody is gonna take over we're in safe hands with him I'm gonna just continue running the rock trucks hopefully Brendan can keep up with us I'm not that good at running run wheel loader he's a little better Nate's probably the best at running wheel loader between all of us but we're moving pay dirt it's all that matters perfect um what did you do um I didn't I didn't do anything uh it just just came Grant, off um, Grant, you on the radio yeah I'm listening you need to get down here right now he just broke it looks like you got a flat tire on the wheel loader that's not a flat tire what is it I'd say it's more I'd say it's more than a flat tire <laughs> how did you manage this well, I guess it, it does have 40,000 hours on it, so it, it might not be my fault. You guys ripped the tire off? You the broke. Heck? I leave you How? for one load. One load. And you guys managed to find a way to rip the tire well, off this thing. One first load. First things first. Um, if you remember, when I first joined, you wouldn't, you, you weren't going to let me run wheel loaders because I wasn't good at it, right? And then, then this happens. So that's it's right. kind of your fault. Nate, for why'd you me let me it? let him run the wheel loader? I have no control over you. Have <laughs> we not figured this out already? Well, did we check the lug nuts on this thing before we bought it? Yeah. Uh, Yes, everything uh, I, was sound. Are you sure everything was good? Yeah. Are you serious? This thing is just... Yeah, here it is, right here. All, yep, you had that one break off. All these, all this right here has to be replaced. Oh, Your main attaching point. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, I think we got screwed on this thing. Take yeah, it back. Yeah, definitely take it back fall. now. <laughs> yeah, let's take it back. I don't know if we can take it. I mean, I signed the papers. It's you buy it as is. There's no 48 hours return policy? Nope. I'm going to leave a one-star review on their site, but I think we got screwed, man. Yeah, we definitely got screwed. Um, oh. How are we going to fix this here? Let's get it into hey. the shop. Hey, Brody. Just come, yes. just, just come here, Brody. Why? How dare Why? you do this? You gonna waste I, 1. Who 1.8 million said, dollars? Who said I did it on purpose? You it did just, it. Just kinda, I mean, cool, cool. I mean, it has 40. Cool. It's 40,000 hours cool. on it. So uh, not, calm down. It doesn't matter. 40,000 hours or not, I hey, don't care. Hey, hey, this hey, is Nate, all your fault. Nate, 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 calm <laughs> down, calm down. Oh, hey, no, no fist, no fist, no fist. <laughs> hey, take a chill pill. Take a chill pill, Nate. Take a chill pill. Okay. This is stupid. It's not his fault. He's a bad operator, but it's not his fault. I'm a terrible operator too. It's all good, Nate. Calm down. Calm down, man. We gotta find a way to get this thing back to the shop. Okay, I got an idea. This may or may not work, but plan is we're going to throw that axle in the back of my pickup, and I'm just going to drive along with them. We should be able to get this work. We got a loader in the front that will be able to lift up that front tire so we can at least get it up there and then set it. Oh, it looks like they can kind of move it, but that's going to be dragging a lot. We got to get that thing off the ground. Okay, Nate, Nate, prop up the front, man. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, I think we got it, guys. I think we got it here. So basically, I'm using the pickup truck as just like a block, and then we're driving. Nate's basically control on me with the steering and it's working pretty good <laughs> oh my gosh dude <laughs> i can't <have> brother <laughs> oh my gosh dude oh why my. are we picking up speed oh i'm i'm going full throttle 
Oh my god, dude. Okay, okay, I'm slowing her down. I'm slowing her down. There we go. You you might need a new pickup truck after this. See, this is what a Ford's <laughs> actually capable of. I'd like uh, to see a Chevy do this. Okay, so we got this thing pried up here. We got my truck out underneath it, but we're worried the hydraulics are gonna kind of give out. We don't really have blocks. So for now, we're just gonna use this end loader to help another thing to just keep weight off that thing in case the loader gives out. So basically two loaders gotta give out before that thing falls to the ground. I should be able to pull underneath here and just keep this thing pried up in the air. There we go. And we got a little bit of weight on the cat dozer. So that should be good. That should keep us pried up. Now we gotta figure out a way to get that tire back on somehow. We gotta go back for that tire. Okay, so we got the skid steer um, with pallet forks. Brody's gonna take that over and then uh, Nate's over there with the other skid steer and pallet forks. So we should be able to move this tire back here. Okay, so we got this skid steer ready to go. Nate's got the flatbed on the semi. And we just need this skid steer. And then the plan is we're gonna back the trailer underneath here to get this loaded up. We'll see how it works. There we go. Nate's got her. All up. Nate, I'll get another skid steer. Okay, you ready, Brody? One sec. Oh my gosh. That tire's like going flat. All right, I'm ready. Okay, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. You're centered. I'm not centered. Okay. Ready right here. Go. Slowly. Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. More. Whoa. Go up more. Nate. Go up some more. Tell me when. Good. That uh, should be good right there. Okay, pull her underneath. Ready? Brody, move towards me just a little bit. Go, go, good, go, good, go. good. And set her All down. Right. Slowly, 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 slowly. Good, Nate? Yep, you're good. Come on. There we go. Good on that side. Throwing straps. All right. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, we got the tire here. I'm probably just going to end up just sliding it off the trailer for now. So I'll just take the skid steer and just give it a good old push. Let's see what we can do. I'll try not to pop this thing. There we go. We'll just keep pushing her. And I'll just move the pallet forks together and just uh, get her turned over. There we go. She's off. Perfect. Okay, since the mine's kind of shut down right now, we've got a team working on building a bridge here. Currently, we have this bridge over here, but it'd be nice to have another bridge. So we're currently laying down another bridge here, trying to figure out how to connect these across this river currently, which means we're gonna have to clear down some trees and like make a nice pathway through here. I'm currently in the, currently in the drone right now, but we'll get down on ground soon. Okay, so we're clearing trees for a pathway here. Brody's up in the sky doing magical work right now with a landscape tool. Now, do not look at the support of this bridge, guys. Trust me, just no need to look. It'll hold up, should be fine. And then basically this bridge is gonna wrap around to my house over here on this side. We'll just keep clearing a couple trees away. Okay, so we got the bridge done. So if you look at this, here's my house, Here's there's Brody's house. If you look at it, we got another way to get to the mine in case, say one of the bridges collapses. You just go through here, go down this path, come up on this little valley, and then you got your bridge that ends up wrapping around to the mine. Now Nate's working on getting this tire fixed over here. What the heck? What? Oh, you welding it? Yeah, I was trying to get it welded. Oh, gosh dang. We got to weld the new parts on. We got the mechanic over here. Well, you got the excavator bucket holding the thing up? Nice. Did you disconnect oh, yeah. the battery? Yes, I'm smart enough to disconnect the battery. Perfect. How long do you, do you think you get her back up and running? If everything goes good, when we get the part, hopefully 24 hours after we get the part. Okay. Part comes in two weeks? Roughly, yeah. Okay. That'll work. We'll figure out a way. Oh, yeah, we always do. All right, I'm going to get back to work. Okay. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Goldmine. It was a crazy one, to say the least. Hopefully we can get that up and run. If not, we can end up using the excavator. But as always, thanks for watching. Definitely check out Nate's channel down below and Brody's channel down below in the description. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.